Pi Pro 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 Pro Pi Pro Pi Pro Pi Pro Pi there are always three sides to every story. There is the poor, poor side. There is word on the streets. And then there is the truth. We saw that a little girl lost her life a couple of days ago. Her name, Danielle, D-A-N-I-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Rowe. She was taken from the primary school that she once attended in a Brayton, Brayton, Portmore, Portmore, St. Catherine. She was seen after somebody fling her out her vehicle and then she was stumbling along the roadside. A good motorist stopped, noticed what happened, took her to Bustamante Children's Hospital. She was in surgery, however, she would succumb to her injuries. She did not make it, it was too severe. Now since then, we know that the whole of Jamaica has been in mourning. More specifically, the family. We saw that everybody and their mother come out. Minister of Justice, your Prime Minister, and everybody is saying, Wow, Jamaica is getting from bad to worse and people it is. Bad enough that the family, they are going through their trauma, their stress right now. There's a whole bunch of rumors whole bunch of things circulating all over social media as to what is the truth I do not know. I am going to let you take a listen, take a look at a voice note that is making its round on social media. I am going to tell you what other persons are claiming and then I am going to tell you what the poor poor has to say. Take a listen, take a look at the voice note and then I'll give my peace. Then now I'm a post a little girl, so one of my friends comment and I need to answer she's a little girl related. She said, Can you know, say her father do it, her father, a policeman, and him do it? So I said, What do you him do it? She said, The mother and the father left for him. Now I'm in Pitney and something. But the little girl have one brother go break and to with them, with her. So the stepmother and the father went and pick up the child without the knowledge of the mother. But the brother was telling the girl not to go, but then what to her father, them convinced her to go. Next thing I just shot them, you say little girl missing. Next thing one little girl was reported taken to children. So when them go a little girl. Apparently a little boy must tell him mother say, I bet they pick up her in Pitney. Anyway, when them send call him hospital, him come, but when he realized that she not dead, is that expression on him face, the look on him face. He's like, boom, bad, she's not dead. So, of course, with a wash him. Friend, he's saying, I step outside, little cars, he must, he must, of course, I wash him. Nobody see him now, he's finding him again, Bentley gone. Then, after you, if he disappear, who the world is that them eight year old in that hospital right now? As a father, he'd sleep at children's hospital. You would have sleep there. Yeah. Still, I want to look at Dutch, man. Now, people, let's analyze what this lady says. Pick sense out of nonsense. She claims that uh, the little girl, Danielle, that was picked up on her throat bus. She had an ex brother that also attended the school. I have not heard anything about that in the news. Not saying that it is not so, however, not likely. She also claimed that. The, the father and the stepmother came pick up the child. Schools like those, you can't just come and pick up picnic. However, this is Jamaica, them kind of loose, so anything possible. We still never hear anything about that on the news. She also claims that when the father went by the hospital thinking that the little picnic gone, in shock, he has disappeared ever since. People, we still have not heard anything about that. So pretty much when we analyze and assess what this lady is saying, it sounds kind of fishy. It sounds kind of strange. So that was one of the voice notes that is out there. 
there's a next voice note in which I also got. And the theory is that this officer, he went and he picked up along with other officers in a some sort of operation. Pick up some sorts of done from Spanish Town, from Linstead, and they arrest them and some other people lose them life. So therefore, the people them put out some sorts of reprisal on the daughter to get back at the father, who is allegedly confirmed to be an officer. People, again, me no know, me no say something in a something, wherever there is smoke, there is fire. However, I cannot verify or validate what any of these two are saying. Now, people, Maybe one or two of these people know more than the Popo, know more than me. However, one is saying him take where some sorts have done, lock up some sorts have done, then take where some sorts have done from Spanish Town or some other area. And the next one I say, the Popo is the person that is the suspect. So therefore, somebody must be lying through their teeth. When we listen to these people on social media, if we listen to these voice notes that are out there of people that are looking their 15 minutes of fame, that want to be mischievous, that are derailing the case for the popo and also causing more stress on the family, they sound very convincing. They sound very truthful. However, that is usually the characteristic of a good liar, their M.O. They are going to sound convincing because they want you to believe them. However, the truth and the fact is that these are some people that are idle. And like them say, the devil always finds work for idlers. Based on what the Popo are saying, and this is your Minister of Justice, Mr. Dr. Horace Chang, he said that the Popo, they have all hands on deck. They are going to do whatever it takes. No amount of money or manpower or technology will be spared. If him said that, we can assume that they don't have a suspect. We can assume that if what these two voice notes are claiming that the man is a suspect or the man knows that him arrest somebody, they would know exactly who they are looking for. Based on the information from the JCF and people, we know so we can't trust the JCF either. However, I would trust the JCF more than any of these two voice notes that I've heard. So the question we have to ask is that, is the Popo JCF showing their poker face? They are not saying as much as they know because they don't want to spook off anybody. People, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think that the first voice note about the Popo being the suspect is true? Do you think that the Popo did something to some sorts of done? Do you think that there is some sorts of reprisal or some sorts of backlash by some sorts of action? of the popo that is a possibility i am not going to say that it is a fact that he arrested some sorts of done from spanish town however it is possible but how does or did that person know do you think that the popo is lost meaning the jcf meaning security minister the justice minister and they don't have any sorts of suspect any sorts of motive they are just on some sorts of pr campaign because they know say they are lost Days and confused point blank and period further on in the news like i've always said there's always two to three sides to every story i spoke about an incident that occurred in a place called old arbor where based on what the residents family members and friends co-workers of this man was saying he is a fisherman he is not involved in anything the Popo locked him up, arrested him because they found him in excess of 833,000 Jamaican dollars. That amount is less than the $1 million that you or any Jamaican can have 
without being questioned by the relevant authority. So therefore, based on what these persons were saying, I said that they violated the man if that was the reason that they claim that they violated him. I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to some of those voice notes, some of those videos, what persons had to say. Right, and they bring go over in the yard. And the matters are fish you sell, what are we sell fish? I will tell you, all I did, I will tell you, I will tell you, I fish you all I will sell. The policeman said, no, take no talk. No, take no talk for nobody. My thoughts on the situation is like this. This fella, from a younger age, always at boat hustling till he turned big man. Now he start to buy fish from vendors and whatever. When he That's bought the man. fish from yeah. vendor, the vendor them give him weekend, every weekend yeah. from colleagues. So he's in, entitled to have more than even that, but that he have on him. I feel a way because me and himself fires out here. So when he not have none, he will come and call me and say, Anna K, see some people who want fires. He told them to find him with a certain amount of money in his pocket. If he's not a criminal, he's not a thief. Then say, I'll scam him money in about whatever and take away money for him and go with him a hundred man. Then lock him up, then say, then claim to say, I have X amount of money for him. He tell him, say, a businessman. He get up before the amount of time. He let him get up a amount of time, 3 30, and he go to do a 4 o'clock. Raking yard and catch board five o'clock a morning time. And my son up in a boiling sun to sell it. So my time he come by time I sell his time for at him. He sure from me no I know him as a scammer, me know him as the wrong deal. I've never you nobody a call penny and pan this that that. Some people like me say that is what his friends, co workers, woman, family were saying. Them just lock him up for nothing. He's been a fisherman, a middleman selling fish. The people him give him the fish pan consignment and then him sell it back, meaning the fishermen, and then he pays them at the end of the week. So therefore, that is how he makes his money. Sometimes he goes on the fishing boats. People, like I said, two sides to every story. I am going to show you or tell you about a message that I got via WhatsApp. In that message, it says to me or said to me, by the way, the so-called fisherman is not one innocent saint. He's been on the St. Catherine South radar for a minute. He was not taken into custody for the money. He was taken in on intelligence. The money was found on him after he was taken, just for clarity. The St. Catherine South covers Old Harbor, Spanish Town, parts like those, Portmore, so 100 man power power station is where it falls in. That is where they took him. So therefore, that is why he was taken from Old Arbor to 100 man power power station in a St. Catherine, Portmore. So people, like me say, two sides to every story. So the question that I have to ask this officer that sent me this information what do you mean that they found the money after they take him in? Is it that they did not search him or is it that when they took him in into custody, they then went to his house and that is where they found the money? Did not get any sorts of clarity on that. The officer or the person did not respond before I did this video. So therefore, people, may just assure you. Two sides to every story, the suspect, the victim, the popo, and then there's the truth. What do you think? Who do you believe? Like I said in my disclaimer when I did that video, there's always people saying that, listen, this man innocent, this man never do anything. However, only to find out later that this man has been a person of interest for a little while. What is he a person of interest for? People, me no know, I did not get the specifics. However, whenever you are on the popo's radar, they are always going to harass you. Do you deserve it? More than likely. Sometimes, not all the times. So people, if you are familiar with this channel, you know that that is how I do stuff. If there is a mistake or there needs to be any sorts of clarity on any sorts of issues, any sorts of incident, I will always come back and say the truth updated information this is a credible source this is a credible blogger so i say this to say that i do not listen to the noise in the market i am going to stay remain focused misery loves company 
This is an independent blogger. I answer only to YouTube, which is the platform that affords me the possibility to post my videos. Anything else is just noise. They are just looking attention, of which this is the last time you'll ever hear me mention insignificant bad mind pieces of S-H-I-T. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.